that a hundred years ago, the company that made punch cards, scales and clocks today is the company that can beat human chess cha champions or solve mind-bending business problems. And yes, that company is IBM. International Business Machines joins the exclusive club of companies to have survived a hundred years. Bobby Rubel of, of Reuters chronicles the Big Blue's journey over a century. From the swipe of a card to the tap of a keyboard, the impact of IBM is literally at the fingertips of millions of people around the world. The company, first born as the computing tabulating recording company, is turning 100. After changing its name to International Business Machines, it worked with the U.S. government on the largest accounting project of all time, Social Security. Imagine what Social Security would be like if you had to collect 30, 40 million pieces of paper and track them. It's physically impossible. So IBM was challenged and they said, look, guys, how do you do this? And what we did was we created the Holoris systems. We actually have systems that sort punch cards that store all the data about a person on a card, which can then be sorted automatically by a machine at very high speed. That's a game changer. A long list of game changers followed, with IBM receiving more than 150,000 patents globally over its century. Taking a flight, well, in 1962, IBM invented the first computerized airline reservation system. That magnetic strip on credit cards came in 1969, soon followed by UPC barcodes still used on products today. Need some cash? That ATM you are hitting was also the brainchild of IBM. And in 1981, the personal computer came along, which eventually led to the supercomputer Watson, which famously won the TV show Jeopardy, and whose practical applications are now being explored in areas like medical diagnosis. IBM's ambitions remain sky high, now focusing on cloud computing, which stores information on servers rather than individual devices, and helping the world build smarter cities through technology. Bobby Rebell, Reuters.